This leaker has been right before. Has it finally been revealed? The next Smash Ultimate Fighter. Block content. What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Block Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. And it's a doozy again today. We have something extremely special because the internet has gone wild. The Super Smash Brothers fandom is on fire because supposedly we have the actual character that will be next in line for the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Fighters Pass DLC. And it's a character that I am super excited for. I've talked about the character many times on this channel. So I'm going to talk about why this character is great who this character is, why this character should appear in Smash Brothers, and what could the moveset be, and all the other content. So I would love for you guys to join me. Uh, in terms of spoilers, of course, they are ahead if this all ends up being real, and we have actually reached out to this person, the leaker, for some more information, so more on that later. Um, yeah, there are spoilers here potentially, so if you don't want to move on, there's a lot of other great content here on Blocked Content, and if not, let's head on. And for those of you guys who like giveaways, we're giving away two beautiful items. One, a Piranha Plant plushie at 50k, and this beautiful What's Happening My Blocked Buddies t-shirt at 40k. So it's very, very close. Subscribe to Blocked Content, and like this video, press the thumbs up, really helps out the channel, and comment down below why you should have one of these items to enter for the giveaways. All right, guys, let's head right on into this. So this person is called Shifty, and Shifty is on Twitter, at ShiftyIsMe, and is actually a very nice person, a person that really loves to make unique content, and is also on YouTube as I am Shifty, so go subscribe to the channel, because I uh, got some other really great content on the channel that doesn't just talk about Smash Brothers, but also other Nintendo Switch content and some Let's Play stuff, so I truly, truly like that channel, and I watch it, so you should too. But also, Shifty is known for leaking Super Smash Brothers information, and not just simply leaking it, but having a lot of stuff to back up for it actually posts a video on YouTube that says, I know who the next Smash Ultimate DLC fighter will be. Well, that's a big and broad statement, right? Um, so, without further ado, I'm gonna say who he mentions is the next fighter for Smash Brothers, and it's Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden. And that's a character that I've been rumoring for a very long time. I'm always saying two fighters, should round out this fighter's pass, and it's Ryu Hayabusa and Crash Bandicoot. I think that those two characters make the most sense for a Western and an Eastern audience, and also connections to Nintendo. Now, Crash, of course, with Switch, and Ninja Gaiden has always been a big part of Nintendo, even NES history. So I truly believe that those two fighters could make the cut. So hearing this from Shifty, that Ninja Gaiden's Ryu Hayabusa is coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate makes me extremely excited, but it's also something that we could have kind of seen coming, right? So he talks in his video basically about, yeah, he has about two or three main sources, right, that he regularly talks to and that sort of seed give him information. And this information isn't that broad, we learn, because the information basically just says the character. We've heard nothing about any other rumors, We've heard nothing about um, move sets or stages or anything else. The the only real information here is that the next fighter, and so it's not the fourth one or the the fifth one. It'll be the fourth one, and that will be Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden. So that's all that we know. So that begs the question: um, Is this all the information that this person knows at this point? Is there a little bit more? Can we wait for it to be trickled out in the very near future? But what is happening right now is that if we will get a Nintendo Direct this September, and as of the moment of recording, tomorrow is September. So that's very exciting because Nintendo Directs always kind of happen at the start of the month. Nintendo really doesn't like doing them later in the month because that'll be that month's Nintendo Direct, right? That's basically usually what they do at the very start of the month or like a week in. So we'll probably know that next Direct. Like a lot of people are saying, if this is real, we're pretty much up for the next Super Smash Bros. character reveal because Hero's been a while 
And of course, we need some information about Banjo now. We need to see his move set in action, and we need to know when the character is coming. And Sakurai really likes to tease what's next. So people that don't necessarily like the character that is coming can kind of get excited for the character that is coming even further down the line. So to me, it could add up if in the next Nintendo Direct, we will see Ninja Gaiden's Ryu Hayabusa. Now, I am truly thrilled about this because the character has its roots in the NES era of all eras, which is great because as is, you know, Simon Belmont, which I think is a really great character in Smash. We've actually played as Simon a whole lot in our previous live stream. So if you guys don't join the block content live streams, well, they're great and you totally should. So watch out for them here, subscribe and check them out. And I think that Ryu from uh, Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden could be the same kind of throwback character, right? Has a lot of animations that really wink towards his very old incarnation. But of course, the character got really famous for the superb Ninja Gaiden franchise, where it's basically just, you know, these, I played them on Xbox, these really frantic, you know, third person hack and slash games with great combos and they'll be pretty gory too. But the idea here is to juggle enemies, to uh, block certain things and projectiles and just basically, you know, slash your way through these beautiful crafted levels. And they got even more violent the more the, the games went on and he got even more tools to play with. And down the line, you even had other playable characters. Notable were, of course, Ayane from Dead or Alive and Kasumi from Dead or Alive as well, which is one character that I would have loved to see as a Smash Brothers character too. So there is an idea here that a character like Kasumi, who basically has a very similar build and, uh, well, built in terms of like the way that the character could move and the way that the character is light on his feet, right? and of course the weapons that this character could use. I think in terms of the main blade weapon, I think Kasumi really doesn't use that large of a katana as uh, Ryu Hayabusa does, but I think that there is an idea here. Of course, we have this theory about the sound test menu in Smash having two slots for one character or one bonus character. But what would it be if we would get Ryu Hayabusa with an alt skin as Kasumi. So basically the female ninja, right? So that happens in Smash Brothers and I could totally see that happening here with the teleport move that would be the up B, I guess, for Ryu Hayabusa would just be leaves and for Kasumi it would be the flower petals, right? So I think that there's a lot of ways that they could be similar, the same character, but it could just be different skins as are the Koopa kids or the Koopalings and of course, Villager, Corrin, all those beautiful characters that have these great alternate skins to them with extra voices attached. So that could make me very excited for this character. Of course, has a lot of throwing weapons, either throwing knives or shurikens, has really fast sword combos, and is a very different kind of sword fighter than all the, you know, medieval inspired characters in Smash. I mean, even Ganondorf, who just uses a sword very briefly for a few Smash attacks, but also, you know, characters from Fire Emblem, characters from Zelda, and even the hero, they all use a sword that is basically a medieval kind of weapon, right? A knight's weapon. And this would be a Japanese-inspired katana blade, which is fast, you know, it strikes quickly, it has a very different sound and feel to it, and it could be basically chic, but with a sword. So if you think about that in terms of a unique Smash character, that is something that makes me very excited. A lot of people really wanted a character called Lin from Fire Emblem to be in Smash Brothers, and she would basically move just like I feel that Ryu Hayabusa would move in a Smash game. So all of these things combined make me very excited. There's a lot of dead or alive throwbacks that you can put in his moveset as well. There are a lot of great things from the NES games in terms of stages and music that you can put in the game, but also stuff from the Ninja Gaiden games. I, I'm thinking of like the starting areas or the beautiful dojos that you can fight in. How cool would it be to just have an interior kind of dojo location and you could actually smash people through the uh, the doors basically and battle outside. I think that's one of the great things that the Dead or Alive games really did is that they have these stages that have multiple layers to them. So you could actually kick someone off like a bridge and you'll continue to fight in the shallow water, which I think is really an interesting idea. So to me, there's a lot of things here that stack up and I really wanna thank Shifty, which is of course, I am Shifty on YouTube 
for supplying this information. I'm truly excited to see if it actually goes down. And in terms of Shifty, we've been talking today. There might be some content on the way. I'm very excited for those developments as well. So I want to hear from you guys because Ryu Hayabusa, close to my heart, I've played as the character a whole lot in his games, really want the character in Smash. Even so, uh, I even made a Smash fan game with a lot of great friends in the past. And these these games, of course, these these characters that we designed for the game were like pipe dreams. What if Mega Man was in a Smash game? What if Cloud from Final Fantasy was in a Smash game? And yes, even Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden was planned for the game and even had a model in the game. So I'm excited to show off all the development for that game here on the channel. I hope that you guys would like something like that. So let me know in the comments if you would like like original content about a fan game and I can share all the screenshots and character models, animation, music that beautiful artists made for it. So let me know in the comments if you would be excited for that. And of course, if you're excited for potentially Ryu Hayabusa to come to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I'd love to hear what you guys think of this. And if you comment down below, that comment could actually be featured and read out loud in our next video. So today's comment question is, do you like Ryu Hayabusa? Do you want him in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? As for our previous comment question, our answer comes to us from Nin Amuro 57 and it talks about Overwatch content in Smash Bros. saying, if any character from Overwatch gets in Smash, I'd say Tracer. She's considered the face of Overwatch and Sakura typically gravitates towards the main characters of a franchise for representation. She'd be a great rep for the series in general and she's fairly easy to character <laughs> to incorporate a moveset for and she's a good starter character in Overwatch. She would also be the first female DLC character in the Fighter's Pass, as we don't have one yet, and it would definitely be more diverse. She's also part of the LGBTQ community. This would very likely add more people to agree in her favor in gaming, and we don't have any official character of that status yet, barring things like Corrin and Fates if you choose to. In my opinion, she'd be a welcoming addition to the roster. I know quite a few people would be happy. Also, if we're going by mechs, then I suppose D.Va could get in, as she's incredibly popular. So thank you so much for your in-depth comment. I do agree, I think Tracer is definitely the character that is the poster girl for the franchise, and of course has a lot of great potential to her, and being a member of the LGBTQ community as well, I think is an incredible thing for gaming as a whole, so having that included in Smash Brothers would be really terrific. And also, of course, the character's status being, you know, this huge icon in gaming now, that is amazing, so I could totally see that happening. There were a lot of comments on the video that said Tracer should be in, not D.Va. So uh, yeah, I totally get where you're coming from. Of course, D.Va is also very popular, but the mech kind of character doesn't seem to interest a whole lot of people. So that's a really great angle on it, and I, I must say that I agree. So thank you so much for sending in your comments, everybody. These are always so much fun to read through. And of course, a huge shout out to everybody who donates through the live stream in the Super Chats. Everybody who donates to Super Chat in our live streams actually gets to 1v1 me in Smash Brothers Ultimate with varying results. Sometimes I get smashed, sometimes I smash people away. It's a lot of fun. So thank you so much for joining, and of course, all our Patreon Patreon supporters who make blocked content possible. So if you want to decide what our next video is about, if you have a great idea, well, go to patreon.com slash blocked content because you can actually have that happen. Our previous snake codec on Joker was actually sent to me by one of my great friends, Tyler. So thank you so much. And remember, if you are not yet a member of the blocked content family yet, don't worry, click the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and all the news and fun you care about will be delivered on the daily to you. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll just see you around the corner where there's always more blocked content. See ya.